Baie welkom allemaal by um, Atkawa's amtelike eerste inlichtingssessie. Um, ons hart is rechtig om mense ook in te lig en te leer oor hoekom ons um, sekere producte aanbeveel en gebruik. Partij van dit is um, producte vir jou lichaam, vir jou gezondheid. Um, ek en my gesin stap al een baie lang pad, seker die afgelopen 14 jaar, waar ons probeer om, om so gezond as moendlik te leef en goed uit te snij wat, wat skadelik is vir jou lichaam, maar ook om goed te gebruik wat Abba vir ons gegeet wat um, gezond is vir jou. So, um, ons wil eindelijk al hierdie skatte met julle deel en, en dit beskikbaar stel um, vir allemaal om te kan gebruik. So, um, ander producte gaan weer meer gefokus wees op jou geestelike dewe of op jou sieldemensie. Maar ja, vir ochend gaan ons dan afskop met Nadine van Botanic en Lara. Welkom julle. <laughs> Baie dankie vir julle tyd wat julle vat om bykie met ons te deel vandag. Um, ek persoonlijk is baie opgewonde oor vandag, want ek gebruik al, ja, ook tenminste al van school af, die drie olie. Dit is een product waar, waar ek mal is oor en, en baie passievol is, omdat ek net al soveel resultate gesien het. Um, so ons gaan na die tyd, as sy nou klaar gedeel het net, wie is botanik en wat doen hulle en hoe hulle ontstaan, en dan ook die algemene gebruike van die drie olie, dan, dan sal ons ook bykie gesels en, en geheime deel van hoe ek byvoorbeeld al um, die drie olie ge- gebruik het. Um, ja, so kom ons kop af, ek gaan dan oog jy aan my dien, um, en ek sien ons is min vir ochend, maar die hart is eindelijk om hierdie op te neem en dan aan te stuur, um, om te deel met ander. Ek beskies jylle, ons gaan vir ochendse sessie in Engels aanbied, en ek het afgeskop met Afrikaans van die tweede natuur, um, but I'll switch over to English now, so I want to ask you that if you enjoyed this morning, just please share it with your friends, if you enjoy the product, um, we're going to keep it short and sweet, to, to show them and tell them, you know, what tea tree is and what it can, can do for them. So, I'll give it over to Nadine now. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for the introduction as well. All right. Morning, everyone. Welcome to those who attended, who is attending now and who has just joined us. Um, so, yes, my name is Nadine. Um, I'm from Botanic Oils. And with me on the webinar is Dora Foster. She's um, on the farm in Kwambonambi in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, I'm situated in Pretoria and my role at Botanic is mostly to do the marketing and uh, presentations and getting the word of tea tree out there and um, yeah, helping people to get to know tea tree. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so because that's one of our biggest challenges out there is for people to know tea tree and to get to know essential oils. Um, so yes, I'll be starting my presentation. Okay, so tea tree. Tea tree oils botanical name is Melaleuca alternifolia. It is um, a natural plant-based oil with powerful natural antibacterial, antimicrobial, antiseptic, antiviral, fungicide, and insecticidal properties. Um, tea tree oil is also um, a product that is widely used in most cosmetic products. Um, you'll see when you read the label that it has a very small percentage of tea tree oil in it um, because of these properties that tea tree oil has. Um, so on uh, the background of Oakland's farm, where we get our tea tree oil from. Um, the farm is situated in, in close to Kwambanambi, which I mentioned earlier, and it's in KwaZulu Natal. It was established in 1912, and in 2014, the first tea trees were planted. Um, most of you won't know, but tea tree oil originally comes from Australia. And only in the last 10 years, tea trees were planted in South Africa. And most of the oil is also exported, which means there's a large um, gap for tea tree oil to be um, or, or spread in South Africa and planted, planted in South Africa. Um, and also in 2016, the, the distillery was built. All right, so 
Um, before starting to plant organic tea tree, the, short, the, the soil should go through a period of no chemicals for seven years. This ensures that all the chemicals are washed away by rain before planting the tea tree plants. The soil is tested for any shortages it might have, for example, calcium or nitrate, and the soil is then tilted to break up clots and then disc with the necessary organic supplementation it needs. The soil is then leveled out and, ro and rows as straight as possible are made. This all happens before the seedlings arrive on the farm. As soon as the seedlings arrive, the water trailer is hitched to the tractor and sent to the field. Each seedling is planted by hand. How we do it at Oakland's farm might be different to other farms. Each farmer has his own way. It takes three laborers to plant the seedlings. The first laborer digs the hole while the second carefully places the seedling in the ground. The last person closes the hole with soil. This process is repeated for each row. In 2019, the last of the 55 hectares of tea tree was planted. An interesting fact is that 10,000 tea trees are being planted in one single hectare, which is quite a lot. So in Kwambunambi, um, the average rainfall of, <laughs> in Kwambunambi, um, the average rainfall is about 1,000 to 1,400 millimeters per year. It is very important to plant the seedlings during the rainy season in September to ensure the best results. During the first few weeks, the seedlings are watered often to make sure they are sufficiently fed. The water trailer is hitched to the tractor again, and the trailer has beams folding out to the side. Each beam covers 11 rows of tea trees. Above each row is a piece of garden hose attached to a shower head. The shower head distributes the water re resembling rain falling on each plant. The water used on the farm is drawn straight from our borehole. The water has been tested for salt and other minerals and was found to be great for the tea trees. Tea tree plants can lose most of their leaves when it is really dry, almost to the point where it looks like they are dying. With the first rain, the new leaves sprout out. Because tea, tree, tea trees are high in antifungal and antibacterial properties, insects tend not to like tea tree plants. This means it is an easier plant to grow organically because naturally it needs no fungicides or herbicides. No pesticide is sprayed onto the plants or in between the rows. The only downside to this is that trees, that the trees and the soil is relatively labor intensive to maintain. On the farm we have a hoeing team who look after the fields all year round. The tropical climate at Oakland's farm is ideal for growing tea trees but also allow weeds to grow faster. So making sure the weeds get pulled out as soon as they sprout is a full-time job. It takes about nine months for the tea tree to reach two meters in height. This is where the harvest season begins. An interesting fact, when the tea trees reach about one to two meters, they start to flower. In South Africa, only 50% of them will flower. All of the oil is, is extracted from the leaves of the tea tree plant. The tea trees are harvested during the summer months to ensure the highest possible oil yield. The harvesting team moves through the plantation, three at a time with bladed weed eaters. After all the trees have been cut down, they are processed through a mobile shredder which chops up the trees. The chip pieces are then moved with the tractor to the distillery. The shredded pieces of tea tree go through a steam distilling process. 
Two two-ton pots are filled with the matter after which the steaming process begins. This steam, this, the steam which comes from a big boiler just outside the distillery, distillery pushes its way through the shredded pieces at high pressure, exiting through a pipe to the separating room. Here the steam condenses into a tube. The oil can be seen floating on the top on top of the water. The oil is then separated from the water and placed in 200 litre drums. After the leaves and pieces of branch is distilled, it is returned to the tea tree field to create organic matter. With a mulch spreader, we disperse the organic mulch over the harvested tea tree fields. This helps to limit water evaporation from the ground for the harvested tea tree to start growing again. An interesting fact again, three trees are needed to fill one 30 ml botanic bottle. So that equals one tree for every 10 milliliters. The newly distilled organic oil is moved to our packing and filling room, which, on the same, which is on the same premises as the distillery. The oil is decanted into 30 milliliters, 250 milliliters, and 750 milliliter bottles. All the products go through strict quality control measures to ensure that we deliver a premium product. Some of our quality control steps include weighing each bottle to ensure each bottle has the right amount of oil inside, adding all the necessary labels like tamper-proof seals, organic certification, batch number, and best before labels. Each bottle is shrink-filmed wrapped to ensure no bottle is tampered with before it reaches the customer. The shelf life of tea tree oil depends on how it's stored. For optimal shelf life, it's best to keep tea tree oil in a closed dark glass container, such as amber glass, and then stored out of direct sunlight in a cool place. It's also important to note that tea tree oil is corrosive. Tea tree oil will cause plastic to perish, so best is always to store it to store tea tree in glass. Lastly, Botanic undergoes yearly ECOCERT audits as part of the certification process. Now we move over to the benefits. The benefits of tea tree oil is to relieve your skin from insect bites, stings, minor cuts, abrasions, pimples and boils. Tea tree oil is also known to treat nail infections, athlete's foot, moderate acne um, and is used as a natural disinfectant. Topically applied, tea tree oil reduces swelling in histamine-induced skin inflammation. The most common and main properties of tea tree oil are its antiviral, antiseptic, antibacterial and antifungal properties. Tea tree oil contains a number of compounds, including terrapinin 4 o that have been shown to kill certain bacteria, viruses, and fungi. An example of this is the herpes simplex virus, commonly known as a cold sore. Tea tree oil can be used to treat and disinfect minor cuts and abrasions by killing S. aureus and other bacteria that can cause infection in open wounds. An example of this is abscesses and boils. Research suggests that the broad spectrum antimicrobial activity associated with oil, with the oil comes from its ability to damage the cell walls of bacteria. Tea tree oil is effective in treating the fungus Trichophyton rubrum, 
This particular fungus commonly affects the toenails and cause athlete's foot. The uses of tea tree oil, it can be used for wound dressing. By placing a few drops of oil onto, fresh, onto a fresh wound, dressing to kill bacteria and reduce inflammation. It can be used as a homemade mouthwash. You can just add two drops of tea tree oil into a cup of water and use as a mouthwash. Do not swallow as tea tree oil is tox toxic if ingested. For your skull, it's a great remedy to, to treat dandruff and dry scalp. According to research, tea tree oil can improve symptoms of several horic dermatitis, a common skin condition in which scaly patches appear on the scalp. Research also indicates improvement in itchiness and greasiness after using tea tree oil in shampoo. Dandruff is a common cause for hair loss as hair that grows on a dandruff infected scalp suffers a great amount of cuticle and protein damage. Inflammation and scratching the scalp also leads to breakage and hair loss. As tea tree oil is effective in soothing the scalp and treating dandruff, it can also prevent excessive hair fall. Dandruff and ex ex excess sebum can block hair follicles, making hair roots weak and resulting in hair fall. As tea tree oil addresses both these concerns and keeps the scalp clean, it is effective in preventing hair fall. Research shows that tea tree oil is conductive to foster hair growth too. The essential oil nourishes the hair follicles and roots, producing strong and thick hair. Apart from soothing an itchy scalp, reducing dandruff and flaking, and preventing excess oil production. Tea tree oil improves blood flow and allows nutrients to reach hair follicles, balances the pH level of the scalp and stimulates the hair growth cycle to give you a head full of strong, healthy hair. Now for those people who have problem with um, with acne, you can add four drops of tea tree oil to half a cup of water. Apply to the face with a cotton pad once daily. Tea tree oil can also be used in your household. You can mix 20 drops of tea tree oil with a cup of water and half a cup of white vinegar. Pour the mixture into an amber glass spray bottle and use as an all-purpose antimicrobial cleaner. And lastly, not lastly, there's still a few. <laughs> um, it can also use, be used as an insect repellent. Tea tree oil repels mosquitoes, ticks, bees, bed bugs, fleas, fire ants, and spiders. It can be used as a deodorant. Mix half a cup of distilled water, half a cup of witch hazel, seven to 14 drops of tea tree oil, and pour into an amber glass spray bottle. An effective way that I saw that how tea tree oil can be used to um, treat armpits that are a bit smelly. <laughs> um, I, I always use tea tree oil as placing a few drops under my arms after a warm bath or shower in the evenings before going to bed. Um, I've seen that this works very well because the bacteria is being killed when I sleep and then the next morning the smell is gone. For overall skin treatment, in a bath, tea tree oil heals skin conditions, soothes inflammation and relieves the pain of minor burns, sores, bites and cuts. Now before we move over to the other products we have, it is important to note that while tea tree oil is safe to be used topically, it can be toxic when ingested. Also, if you're new to tea tree oil, always test it out on a small patch of skin before using. This is because some individuals, especially those with sensitive skin, might experience irritation on using undiluted tea tree oil. Tea tree oil might also be unsafe 
for the use on young children and pregnant women when used undiluted. If you're unsure, dilute the essential oil in water or carrier oils before using. Now on Oakland's farm, we have placed about, I'm not sure of the correct amount, but there are a lot of beehives that we've placed on the farm. And because um, the tea trees only flower once a year, we do get a small amount of honey from the tea tree and the eucalyptus trees that are on the farm. We have a few other products like the ceramic burners and then also the big um, quantities of oil in larger bottles. And then our latest product, which is a face balm. The main ingredient in the face balm is tea tree oil. And that's it. We are also available on Take A Lot and on our online store, which is on uh, botanic.co.za. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you so much for sharing. And also, obviously, um, everything is available at Atava. Um, so we will share a price list and a catalog on the um, Atava newsletter afterwards. Um, I'm just going to spotlight my video. <laughs> um yeah and i just want to share some you know my own testimony um it can obviously be used for so many things like nadina shared but the thing i've seen it work very well for is a fungus if people have fungus between the toes that's very can be very very hardy to get rid of i, I know somebody that have tried like everything everything over the counter even other natural products and the tea tree oil is just so potent um, it goes away very quickly. And then I also suffered from um, herpes zoster for a while. It's, it's similar to the cold sore virus, but um, it comes out in your face and in your ear and it makes like little sores. And there's no, at the moment, there's no way to treat it. So um, I, I felt very lost during that time. It just felt like nothing helped and even also all the natural remedies that I googled nothing really helped the only thing that gave me some relief was tea tree oil um, and I had to put it on um, in the purest form just like that so it would sting a little but in the end it made the, um, the virus and the spots to go away more quickly and then something I've been doing since I was in school that really is also um, helps you to keep your skin clear and it makes your skin very soft is I will take um, boiling water and I'll put it into my wash basin um, in my bathroom. I'll add a couple of um, tea bags, Rebels tea bags, some lemon. Um, I'll squeeze some lemon out and also put like lemon slices and halves in like just four lemons. We had a lemon tree so there was um, a big supply of lemons and then I'll add some tea tree and I'll throw a towel over my head and I'll steam with that mixture for about five minutes plus. Um, it just must never be too hot because the hot steam can damage your skin and cause small capillaries to, to pop. So you must just, you know, it mustn't burn you. It must just be nice, uh, hot and steamy. And um, then afterwards, after I've steam, I will scrub or wash my face with whatever I'm using. And then I'll wash my face with that water. I'll rinse it with that water. And it makes your face super, super, super smooth. I've really had so many people telling me, I remember since school, and I've given this secret to a lot of people, and it really works. You can definitely try that with the tea tree oil. Um, Another thing is when I mix my own body oil, I always add some tea tree oil because it is so, so potent and anti, um, antibacterial. And then I just want to um, also confirm what Nadine said. Um, I've always, I've struggled with body odor and I've had to use Mitchum my whole life. But the thing is with those commercial um, anti-perspirants and stuff, it's like your body gets addicted to it. 
And once you start to wean off it, it's like you go through a phase where your body detoxes and you actually have even more body odor. But you just have to give your body a chance to get rid of that. And currently I'm using a, a natural um, organic roll-on that I buy. But then sometimes, you know, in the hot season, when it's very hot and I sweat a lot, I can still get some body odor and then I struggle to get rid of it. And then I also make um, like a deodorant with, I use aloe gel and then I mix in some tea tree oil because it also, the aloe moisturizes your armpits and it kind of seals it in. And, and you don't smell like tea tree oil. You don't walk around. You smell it the first couple of minutes after you've put it on, but then it neutralizes. And then um, you really stay clean for the rest of the day. And many times when I've forgotten my, my day-to-day roll on, I always have aloe gel with me and I always have my tea tree with me. And then I just use that and it really, it really works. Um, yeah, so you can definitely try it. We've also used it all these years on, um, on cold sores. Um, it takes, it's the best, best weapon. My, I don't get cold sores, but my husband does. And I've bought him many natural remedies and well, ointments and salves, but the tea tree oil just takes it away immediately. And the last thing that I want to share is, um, I don't get it anymore, but when I was younger, I used to get sores in my mouth. And although you, you cannot ingest the tea tree, um, I would just put some tea tree on the sore inside my mouth and keep it there for a couple of seconds and then rinse my mouth. And it will go away immediately. And those sores could usually stay there for, for weeks. Um, so it's really a, a powerful thing. And um, I, I love essential oils. Um, I think there, there's really a place where it's still. Um, but I think you can get away with a few basics. But tea tree oil will always be the one <laughs> that's in my bag. I'll never go without it. So I don't know if any of you wants to want to share something that you use it for. Is it safe during pregnancy to use Nadine? I use very little um, tea tree and Laura who has two children can also testify that it, it is safe to use. Sorry, okay, that's good to know. Um, I also, there's something else I wanted to mention. Now. Oh. A lot of people might ask, and I think um, most of the people that's attending today um, know ancient biblical wells and other people who sell um, essential wells, and that a lot of people are moving back to that. But there are still people who struggle with the idea because we've been taught or for such a long time that essential oils is either taboo because it's linked to aromatherapy and it's new age, or we've just been so um, mind washed that it's only chemical things that will really give you um, good results. Um, but you know, Abba made the plants and I really believe um, if we read in the Bible, the whole Bible is full of references to essential oils. And um, we read of mirror oil that's so symbolic and associated with um, Yeshua himself. So I really do believe there's a place for that. And um, yeah, the results are just the fruit of using essential, essential oil speaks for itself. So I think that's yeah, all I wanted to share. I see somebody's hand is up. Um, Alma, do you have a question do you, that you might want to ask on the question and answer box? Or anybody else has a question about the farm? Um, please feel free to use this time to ask if you want to know anything. Um, if I would actually like to share a story, um, so when we started to distill on the farm for the first time, my husband and them um, distilled, I think it was for six months, and um, yeah, he closed the day, so at the end of the day, um, his dad and him closes the steam pots and they needed to close it together, otherwise the one lifts up a bit. And yeah, my husband closed these too late and the steam of the tea tree pot actually burned like the whole one side of his body and his back, it was terrible. Um, 
And his dad took, well, literally liters of tea tree oil and just poured it over him. Um, and when he came home, his skin was hanging and I was just like, literally freaking out <laughs> and i took him to the to hospital and he was in icu for two weeks two and a half weeks and then in hospital for another two weeks um but then at the hospital the first thing they put on him was burn shield now i don't know if you're familiar with burn shield but um it contains 75 to 80 percent tea tree oil and that's what they use in hospitals so it's 75 percent tea tree oil and then the other is um aloe vera gel so they put that on him and he had um yeah some third degree bur third degree burns um and the doctor didn't really want to admit it, but he but i said to him listen did the tea tree help and he said well he just said to me well it might save his life um because I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, burns, but the whole thing is you shouldn't get um, infection because infection is then your worst enemy. Um, yeah, so that actually, because his dad poured like liters of tea tree oil over him, um, it disinfected his skin basically just before like he got skin grafts and everything. Um, yeah, so that's actually an amazing um, yeah, result of tea tree, um, what it can do and how natural things are also as potent, if not more than chemicals. So yeah, that's my story I wanted to share. Thank you, Laura. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to share mm -hmm. that with a lot of people. The other very important thing that I wanted to share, I knew there was something I'm forgetting, is but also for the last 15 plus years, I used to get really bad sinusitis. Um, I still do get a bit, but it's not even 10% as bad as it used to be. But when we get sick, if we get the flu, if we get the cold, um, the thing that works the best is to um, also to steam because steam, uh, you know, it loses the mucus. Um, and then after that, I will rinse my, um, my nose, my nasal passages with, with saline water. But the steaming really um, helps you to decongest. You just feel better. So what we always do, um, and now my husband also, when he feels sick, you know, that's the first thing he does, is to also use boiling water in your basin, in your bathroom, or in a small um, tub, like a plastic tub if you add. And then I add um, a mixture of tea tree oil and eucalyptus and pe peppermint oil. If I don't have one of those, I just use the other. But if you have a combination of those, because the, the peppermint really opens up, um, it's very strong, it opens up your passages as well as the eucalyptus. But the tea tree oil then works on, on killing the bug or whatever is causing that. Um, so I always use that together. If I'm sick and I don't have that, I feel like, you know, I don't feel better until I, I steam myself and, and use the tea tree with the eucalyptus. And it really, really does work. So you, you can really try that as well. Um, I see this one use, question. Uh, sorry, Steph, I use our... Uh, um burner and then our botanic burner and i put some water in tea tree and eucalyptus and that works wonders if the kids go to sleep i just put it in the burner and i'll just let it go and it really really helps okay well so that's also a thing the burners that they sell you can use basically any um any essential oil in that with the tea tree right eh? so I think what's nice with the um, the tea tree, it, it cleans the air. It will it will basically clean the air of viruses and bacteria. So if one in the house is sick, it will just clean the air so the rest doesn't um, get sick as well so easily. Um, somebody is asking about if you have a solution for bad heels and can you use tea tree for that? I know that tea tree can um, cause, <laughs> sorry, this is my little boy. And tea tree oil, oil can dry your skin because it is still all essential oils is basically an alcohol 
um, as an alcohol base. Um, do you have any experience in using it specifically for, for crack deals? Yes, <clears throat> sorry. So Steph, um, with that face balm that we developed, we actually use the base butter for um, other purposes as well, such as here. We haven't um, produced the product as yet or has uh, or launched it as yet, but um, that butter that we use as base with the mixture of tea tree oil is actually great for heels. Um, Laura started using it for her heels and she, she says it really works well. So um, that's a, one of the following products we will launch quite soon. Okay, thank you everybody. I think that then wraps everything up. Um, thank you all for joining. Um, we will have our next webinar in two weeks and it will be a testimony. So please follow us on um, Telegram if you are not following us there yet. And we will also share all of Botanics information for you there. And if you want to order something, um, yeah, feel free. Have a nice day. Bye Nadine, thank you for joining. Bye Laura. Thank you Steve, thank you.